Here's your daily dose of fitness, food, and fun. Angelica's daily surprise starts now. This is possible. Do you ever squirt lime in your eye? All the time, but I don't like telling people that. I feel like I'm gonna knock something over here. Give her. Good man. There we go. I'm spanking my man. Put it in? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, chef, I was about to say. Next, we're gonna add some sparkling water. Okay. <laughs> Hello there and welcome to my apartment. As you can see, my kitchen has been transformed into a fully stocked bar by Rob Berry from the Bartending School of Ontario and the newest member of the team at Bar Chef. And he's here today to teach me how to make a cocktail and then transform it into another cocktail. Surprise! Welcome, Rob. Thanks for having me. Take it away. What are we doing today? Well, fantastic. We're going to start off by making uh, um we call it bar mix, a okay. basic uh, sweet and sour mix to help balance a cocktail. We could use juices or a lemonade or a limeade, uh, but made, things made from scratch and oh, made yeah. uh, from real fruits is way more delicious and uh, more authentic. Yeah, especially lemonade oh, stuff, absolutely. right? So we're gonna start off by making a limeade, basically. Nice. We're gonna squeeze the lime, we're gonna add simple syrup to it, and we're gonna make our own bar mix. We're gonna add rum to it, some crushed ice, some, uh, turn that into a daiquiri. Okay. And then we're gonna spank some mint and some other herbs, and we're gonna turn that into a mojito. I wanna spank gonna, some mint. And then we're gonna flavor that mojito with some black raspberry and orange berries. Okay, 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 let's start. All let's right, begin. So first step is uh, cutting the lime. We wanna expose both ends of the lime. Okay. And then cut that fruit in half. Ah. Once we've cut that fruit in half and we use our juicer, we'll be able to get juice coming out of both ends. So we're gonna grab our juicer, we're gonna squeeze our lime. Wow. And get as much lime in there as possible. Can I tell you, I used to be addicted to drinking bar lime. Like, I loved bar lime. It's great Isn't that the weirdest when thing? When you're hungover, too. It's really good, that juice. So, we've got two lime, we've got our lime in there. Okay. And we're gonna squeeze them both again, and we're gonna add as much as possible. Do you ever squirt lime in your eye? All the time, but I don't like telling people that because it hurts. <laughs> It really does hurt. You All need right. goggles. <laughs> so we got approximately one ounce of lime juice here. Okay. Uh, so we're going to use uh, one ounce of simple syrup. We could use just sugar water. That's just sugar water just straight up? Just sugar water straight up. Uh, but we're going to use a vanilla simple syrup. Okay. And vanilla and lime is going to make it taste a lot better. And we're going to use approximately mm. the exact same amount of lime juice as we did simple syrup. So we have sugar, water, lime. Okay. This makes, uh, and rum, makes a daiquiri. Nice. We want to make some crushed ice in there and turn it into a really yummy daiquiri. That looks like a holiday in a glass already. Oh, it certainly is. <laughs> also vanilla and lime juice. And we could just quickly give it a, a stir and put a dot on your hand and give that a taste. Tell me what you think. Ooh. I love this stuff. I love sour. I used to love Warheads. Ooh, I still do. See, you shouldn't have done that because now I'm just going to drink it like that. You will. You'll love it too. Next is uh, the mint. We're going to grab uh, as much mint as we can that are fresh mm. leaves and we're going to... Oh, wow. I can really smell that. So what we're using here is a different type of mint. We're using... Um, one called winter mint. Winter mint. So it's what's used to do um, um, gum and those things that are that's, candies. That's what I was just about to say. It smells like a pack of gum right now. Literally, it does. So we're just going to take all the leaves off. Okay. I'm going to put a bunch of leaves over here and get you to put those in your hand. Okay. And if it's good mint or bad mint, you still got to spank it. What do you mean? So instead of bad mint, ins bad mint, exactly, or good mint, good mint, whatever way you like it. Um, <laughs> the reason for it is that we really want to expose the oils from the mint. Right. We don't want to. How do you spank it? Really, give her good mint. There we go. I'm spanking my mint. All right, can you smell it now? Does it smell ten times stronger now? Yes, all it's right. coming out. So grab all that mint, throw it in the glass here. Mint abuse. Okay, so I just put it in. Put it all in there. We had crushed ice and rum oh. to this. We'd have our our mojito. It's practically a smoothie. We're gonna pour all those juices into the mint so that we can get the flavors into the lime and the uh, vanilla syrup that we have in there. We're also gonna grab a few sprigs of uh, homegrown basil. What? Put that, basil? Put that in your hand. I love basil. Spank that a couple times. Good mint, bad mint, good stuff. Throw that back in the glass there. It, 
put it in? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, chef, I was about to say. I'm used to saying yes, chef, yes, chef, oh, yes, yes, chef. Yes, okay. chef, right I will, away. I will refer to you as a chef. Uh, yes, you chef. don't have to call me chef. I'm just, I'm just your no problem, chef. bartender. <laughs> All right, so we got some crushed, we got some ice. Ice. And we're going to grab our mallet and we're going to do some, you can put <gasps> it right on here or you can hold it in your hand. Probably a little bit, safe. oh, let's do it right here. Can we do it here? Smash it right here. Okay. I'm just going to make sure this that. This counter is not reinforced. Okay, I'm going to hold it. I should mention that. So I'm going to hold this part. This is not a real kitchen. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. I feel like I'm going to knock something over here. This is fun. Anger management. Okay, it yeah. Helps. No, I'm getting way too into this. All right, so then we could get a little bit it's more violent if we wanted to and just put it in our hand, ah! whack that ice, get a real good crush on that ice. So we got it really crushed. Now we're gonna grab this Ooh, that sounds denim good. bag. We're gonna dump this all into our glass here and we're gonna have a Whoa. ton of crushed ice into our mojito. And you know what's cool? You don't even need a blender for this because I've I've never made cocktails. I'm like such a novice because I thought that you needed to have like a really good blender and then I'd get frustrated when I couldn't crush the ice in my blender and then I just never make it. I just have wine or beer. Oh, and I don't have simple syrup. You may have jam in your house, so use a teaspoon of jam instead of simple syrup. What? Right? Wow. Awesome. See? All right, Anybody so could do it. Now we have our... Uh, cocktail ready, we're gonna grab our rum, and we're gonna pour one ounce of rum, or two, depends who's it for. And Look at that technique, huh? You put it in between those fingers instead of going like that. Is yeah, there a I reason? Could, I could get all fancy and do it crazy, and uh, it's but- Just casual? I, I want, if I'm doing it in front of a customer, I really want them to see that I'm putting them the max amount in, oh, yeah. and I want to be a pro. <laughs> Act like a pro, you get oh, treated like a pro. So next, they get to see what you're doing, okay. Next we're gonna add some sparkling water. Okay. <laughs> Who shook that? Was this for your show <laughs> before? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna add our sparkling water. Ooh. And it's almost done. It's pretty good. We could serve this as a mojito as we speak as of right now. But I want you to taste it first. Oh my and goodness. And then I'm gonna show you how to pimp it out and make it even sexier and even yummier. So, pimp your mojito. That looks pretty pimp to me. So this is a basil mint mojito. Oh my goodness. Give do I little, get to have a little swig? Please do. I'm not responsible for the content after I consume this beverage. That is my disclaimer. Ooh, oh so, my gosh. So far so good. Let me show you how to make it even better. What makes most cocktails better mm. is bitters. Bitters is a cocktail enhancer. Oh. Add bitters to a cocktail is like adding salt to food. We really want to enhance everything. So if you think This of, is the best mojito I've ever had. Wait till you try this. You ready for this? And the basil is very subtle. So we're gonna put in some orange bitters. Okay. And then we're gonna also put in some black raspberry syrup. What? So if you thought that mojito was good. Is this where the jam would come in if you didn't Absolutely. have? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. It, with the bar mix that you had mixed in the bottom, mix that jam to help dissolve it all so it wouldn't be so clumpy. Right. Uh, and here we have uh, orange, black raspberry, mint and basil mojito. Here's wow. the best drink you've had today. <laughs> or in a long time. Whoa! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Eh? I'm not usually a cocktail girl. Beer and wine? Well, we may, may just have changed your mm. uh, perspective on cocktails. Oh, wow. That's good. All right, so we went from a daiquiri to a mojito to a flavored mojito by right. adding bitters and syrups uh, just to amplify a basic cocktail that has weeds in it. <laughs> right? Well, when you put it like that, I mean. <laughs> mint is basically a weed. It'll take over your whole garden. So you put your mint in a uh, pot so that it doesn't destroy your whole garden and everything becomes mint. Mint is lucky it smells the way it, it does. Yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So this is the finished product? This is. We could add, uh, we could strain that and turn it into a sour and turn it into another cocktail. Wow. We could add champagne to it and we could even just keep amplifying the drink. How do you make something taste better uh, is Mixology 101. Everybody can make craft dinner, but what if you added hot dogs, dogs broccoli, broccoli, more pea, cheese. cheese, and then breadcrumbs and more cheese and bake in the oven, right? So it's, we can all make craft dinner. We can all make a basic drink, but how do we make something better? By using our specific ingredients like bitters and syrups and fresh 
um, greens, which really make things a that little bit more That seems to be herbaceous. the key, right? Herbaceous. Yeah. yeah, when you're using real ingredients and a lot of fresh ingredients that really... Really sing It kicks you. it up. I gotta say the crushed ice trick, pretty sweet. And it's very therapeutic. Oh, that's been Angelica's daily surprise. I'm gonna go smash some, some more shit. <laughs> I'm already drunk. Bye. <laughs>